Hello, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to create Messenger mini apps for my two businesses. Uh, for this demo, uh, I have two pages. One is this uh, Tamiya shop, which has a Shopify uh, store already. And uh, this flower store that I have, which I don't have any store yet, but I will create a uh, Messenger mini app for it. So to start, uh, we have a do-it-yourself beta platform here already. Um, under chat genie brand so the way how it works is I need to log in my account and select all the pages that I want to create the mini app with so once I connected my account already the chat genie platform will ask me on what type of uh, service bundle I want to choose so to start, we'll uh, demonstrate how to create a Shopify service bundle. So in North American markets, uh, we know that uh, Shopify is actually strong in North America. So we created this Shopify service bundle so that uh, store owners can um, have an additional channel, Messenger mini app channel for their stores. So say for example, I want to create uh, a messenger media for my Shopify store. So the way how it works is I just need to select the page that I want to integrate my messenger mini app. And then next is uh, I can type the messenger mini app name. Let's say for example, uh, Tamiya Shop Mini App. And then uh, from here, I can uh, select the greeting to say, for example, uh, Hola, thanks for checking us out. Click the get started. And then let's say, for example, here, Yo, welcome to Shopify. Welcome to my toy store. And then here, I can select. Uh, let's say the email address of the store owner and then from there I can see uh, that as I change this uh, field here the info greeting will also change as well so from there I just need to click next and then here, I need to look for the API keys that I can uh, find on my Shopify store. So the way how it works is, first I need to go back to my Shopify store. So this is my Shopify store. I can actually uh, browse this. But what I need to do is go to my dashboard and then click apps. So to integrate messenger mini app you need to create your own app under the private apps uh, page and in here let's say for example let's create a new private app called the media shop mini app and then here i'll just select the developer name and then uh, notice the api version it needs to be the latest one and then you need to create the app so here you need to take note of this information because uh, these are the information that you need to integrate your mini app so from there I need to go back here type the API key And then the version it needs to be like highlighted so it's uh, 2020 and then here type the API password here if you need this so that you can uh, validate all the transactions and then select the shop name the URL there you go so once you're done, you just need to click next. And then here, uh, here in the Philippines, uh, cash on delivery is still 
the most prevalent uh, payment method. So here I can actually uh, have a preview of this. I can skip or click next. And then here it's say uh, I want to look at the dashboard, I can do so. So here I can uh, see all the, let's say, information that I need to see as a shop owner, the mini performance, the products, if you say, um, you know, I need to edit it. But, you know, since this is a Shopify store, I need to edit the products and categories on my Shopify account. So let's say I want to launch it already. I just need to launch it using this button. So there you go. So from there, I can actually launch my mini app already. Of course, I need to log in to preview it. So the good thing about Messenger mini app is that it's actually the true cross-platform because it's uh, compatible to all devices that has a messenger app on it. So click get started. So remember that I didn't um, add any products because I already have products on my Shopify uh, store. So here, see to view it. So the way how it works is that it actually fetch all the product information from my Shopify store to the Messenger Mini app. So the good thing about this is that if I do, let's say, the purchase or the checkout on the Mini app, it will be redirected to my Shopify store as well. So say for example, uh, I'll continue with the test purchase Let's say I'll put my email here and then my mobile number, my region, let's say, there you go. So the good thing about this, it's actually autofill. And then there you go. And then same with billing address, of course, I need to provide those information so that in case I'm going to uh, use my credit card, my bank can actually validate my transaction. So this one, this is actually being fetched uh, from my Shopify store. So say I want to click free shipping. So yeah, I need to shop for because it has a 350 pesos uh, requirement and I only have not. 195 pesos. So as you can see, I, I didn't actually configure this, but this is the actual configuration that I have on my Shopify. So it's already uh, inherited on my Messenger Mini app. So basically, that's how you install a Messenger Mini app uh, using your Shopify uh, store. So let's say, what if uh, I want to have a messenger mini app but I don't have my own Shopify store or for example if I'm from Southeast Asia which is most of the small and medium enterprise sellers doesn't have Shopify store because for us it's costly to have monthly fees and I sell my goods uh, online on Facebook and I don't have any Shopify store how can I go on with with this can I create my Messenger Mini app, of course. So the way how you do it is uh, just click this one. So if you're logged in already, this is the landing page. So if I don't have any Shopify store or any other online store, I just need to uh, create my own native store. So it's the same process, but of course, I have to choose um, my other page that has no um, other standalone store. So say for example, uh, this one, this is uh, my flower store. Of course, I sell flowers um, using the, uh, the store. And then 
say for example um, the Tagalog way of greeting people and then welcome to my flower store and then I'll type my email here So as you can see here, just like earlier, once I provided a custom greeting here, it will also be uh, pre get previewed here. And then here I can add categories. Let's say for example, uh, I already have pictures here. So let's say I want to add sunflower. And then here, sunflowers. The most, uh, let's say, description the most yellow sunflower in town. Click next. So, this is the category. Of course, the usual structure is you have the category and then you have the subcategory and then you have the products. So here, uh, I need to input the products. Let's see, for example, uh, this is a uh, tea stem sunflower. Forty-nine plus one sunflower. So let's say the base price is four nine nine. So I have limited stocks. I only have 100 pieces. And then, for example, I don't want to have variants. I can just click this. But I want, let's say, you know, the blue sunflower has additional, let's say, 500 pesos. I can do it um, here. If I have a promo, you know, I can put this one here. But I want to make it. I want it to be simple on this demo. So there you go. So here I can just select people, free shipping if I want. I can actually skip this, you know, if I don't want to deal with that anymore. So say for example here, uh, let's have, let's say next day shipping. And then here the cost is 150 pesos. So let's say you order now, we ship it tomorrow. And then click next. So here, as I uh, mentioned earlier, when we're creating the Shopify uh, mini app, we have this payment methods. So this is the, these are the default payment methods. But if you are a validated merchant already, then we can expose the credit and debit card payment methods to you. So let's go to the dashboard. So it's the same dashboard that you can see whether you have a Shopify service bundle mini app or a native B2C store mini app. Of course, enable for us to see it, we need to launch it. And then click launch. And then to see the mini app, we just need to click that. So from here, click get started. And then of course, there will be like a, a default greeting that we have that we configured. And then click shop now. So the category page will appear. So as you can see, we're opening it the first time. So for example, uh, I want to share this to say my friends say for example I'm going to purchase this for you say for example let's so yeah she can actually well we can actually visit that later so for example here, this is the base price. So if I choose this variance, it has no additional value on it. 
but if I choose the blue one, it has the